You wonder why I don't like to call you my girlfriend? Because I want to call you my wife. Oh my gosh, what a moment. Hey everyone, welcome back to the countdown to the 2020 Emmys on ET Live. I'm Leanne Aguilera, joined right now by ET's Denny Directo. Hey Denny, how's it going? Hi. Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm thinking back to the time when we all were watching the 2018 Emmys and we saw Glenn Weiss propose to his then girlfriend Jan Svensson during the middle of his acceptance speech. It's going to go down as such an unforgettable and iconic moment in Emmy's history. And we wanted to check in with Glenn and Jan to see what they've been up to two years later. And we did. We're doing a where are they now piece because two years ago at the Emmys, Glenn, when you proposed during your acceptance speech, I mean, that is truly unforgettable. But I want you to take me back to that night. At what point did you realize, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go on stage and I'm going to propose. When they called my name. <laughs> I had a plan that, you know what, if this happened, maybe I'll do this, but it wasn't real until my name was called and then it was super real. Jan, what was going through your mind when that all started to play out in front of the world? Well, I had no clue. We never even really talked about getting married. So his speech started off so beautifully and he acknowledged you know, his kids and his family and then his mom who had just recently passed away. And then he segued into me, which I thought was lovely. And I thought we were done. So at that point, I sat back in my chair and then he went into that line about, I don't like to call you my girlfriend, I want to call you my wife. And honestly, I don't remember much what happened between then <laughs> and when we went off stage. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I couldn't tell you who won outstanding drama series that year but I do remember this moment you know I got through the speech and I said that line about you know be my wife I honestly thought at that moment it would be like thank you thanks to the Academy let's go backstage and I'll propose backstage the whole room just gasped responded cheered got up and next thing you know they're pushing her to the stage and it all took off into its own dimension so everything from that moment forward just got really surreal <laughs> So talk to me about what the last two years have been like for you guys. Well, the first year we were busy and I really liked the idea of being called a fiance as opposed to a girlfriend. Yeah. So we were kind of just resting with that. And then, you know, we started thinking about, well, maybe we should change the title to wife and then, <laughs> and then COVID happened. Right now we are just feeling really grateful that, uh, that we're healthy and then we have a roof over our heads. How has the pandemic really impacted any wedding plans for you guys? I think the pandemic has impacted every kind of plans for right. everybody. And, uh, you know, it's just such an unfortunate time in the world right now for so many people. And, you know, if we have to push back a wedding, that's such small beans compared to what other people are going through. Well, you've been staying busy, though. Um, I saw that photo of you directing the DNC from your home barefoot, uh, which was iconic. Yeah, doing it out of home was a hoot. It was a lot of fun to do. And it was a picture that she took that she posted and said, I bet you, you know, 100 people will like this tonight. We wake up in the morning and it's like 10,000 and then it goes viral and it's like, what? this was just a picture of me working at home. What the heck? Yeah, you guys know that feeling better than anyone. Not expecting a viral moment like that to happen and all of a sudden it blows up, right? Yeah, our second viral moment. <laughs> <laughs>